Welcome to Super Mario Maker 2 Tutorial Part 1. Now this video is dedicated to help you make really awesome videos. Alright, so anyway, so go to like an open section right here and you can click on it. That is not, this state is not being used and you click on it to make a new course. Or level or however you prefer. Now all, all these tools or items right here might seem a bit overwhelming. But, let me just get you right here. Anyway, go right here to game style. You're probably wondering what these are. So anyway, you can have it change like this. This this mode right here is Super Mario Brothers 3. And you could change it something like right here. Like this. You change it like right here. So if you build something like this, you can go back to game style. And then it'll change what you build. Although, if you do Super Mario 3D World, it will not be saved because it's in 3D and the it, it's just different that way. Anyway, the game styles are New Super Mario Bros. U, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Bros., Super Mario World, and Super Mario 3D World. Anyway, we're going to start with Super Mario Bros. U, since we're uh, just learning the basics here. Alright, and also right here, this little icon right here you can click it and that will erase anything you build or you can click you can click uh yeah so whatever you build you can erase it see and right under the eraser is undo you can click that and if you wanted wanted to save it you can also click the reset rocket which will restart everything see like that Anyway, the video I'm going to do today is also this. You can also do forest, you can have a theme. You can do forest, sky, ghost house, airship, castle, snow, desert, underwater, underground, or ground. We're going to start with ground today in this video. And you can also change it from day to night. You just click on it and it's night. Anyway, so we're gonna go right up here to the search uh, icon right here, and you got your terrain, all your items, all your enemies, lots of enemies, all your gizmos, and yes, uh, through these tutorials you'll learn everything you need to know how to make these really awesome levels. Anyway, we're gonna start with uh, the very basic, which is ground. As you can see through these little, little cute little, those little holes, these little holes. <laughs> Anyway, you can fill them up like that. And also, even the starting point, which you start, there's a little circle. You can hold that down and you can go all the way up or all the way down. So in this one, we're going to start with three, but you can do with five or, you know, it, you can really, honestly, you can do it any other way. So we're going to start with three. Like this, you can fill up the ground. And then you can go back to search uh, right here. You can get your classic question mark block. You can pick that one, two, three, four blocks like that because you don't want to do it like that. Then you can't you can probably get the coin, but if you put something in the block, you can't get it. So then you do it one, two, three, four again. And then one, two, three, four as well. I mean, you don't have to do it like this, but anyway, and then you get the block then you click it right next to here, and then you got the ionic little blocks there. Alright, and then you can go back right here to items, which is right next to terrain. Then you can click a super mushroom. You can click it, and then you can drag it and put it in the block. You can also do this with numerous things. Including almost all uh, all the uh, all the items except the tin coin. You can see it's red. You cannot put it in there. You can also hold down the tin coin and change it to a thirty coin or a fifty coin. You can also have it with wings. So if you can put it like right here, like that, and it can fly like that. You can also make it while it's gliding down like this.
Anyway, you can also put coins in there. Put them right in there as well. So you can get multiple numerous coins in a single block. And you could also get Yoshi's egg. You can click that as well and drag it and put it in here. And then you can hit that block and then you'll get Yoshi. You can also do, you can also, if you don't want, if say if you don't want Yoshi in the block, you can hold down the block and you, there it is. See, that's the item. And then you can also hold down on it and you're, and you get, hold on. Sorry, I didn't mean to spawn multiple Yoshis. Unless you want to, I mean, you could literally make anything. This game has infinite possibilities you can do on here. So yes, you can also put a little parachute right there. See, just like that. And then there's Yoshi. Or you could do it with wings like I showed you the other coin. And you're probably wondering what you could do with the mushroom. So you can click that and it'll become red. A little bigger. But it's still the same size Yoshi but a different color and choose. And you can also shoot fireballs from the red Yoshi. And you can also put one life mushroom up there in the blocks too. Anyway, let's, so let's go back to the... We're going to start with two enemies uh, today. The classic Goomba. And then eventually we'll go to the Koopa Troopa. Oh, <laughs> don't want to start a level like right there. Let's see, we can just put them right here if you want. Like that. And although, of course, no real course. I mean... Well, anyway, so you can continue it to keep making it like this, or you can make it long, or zigzaggy, or in the, literally any way you want. I mean, there's just so much potential you could do on here. So let's start doing it right here. And then we can go back to terrain. You're probably wondering what the steep slope and the gentle slope is. Well, anyway, the steep slope... We'll start like this. Just, a, just an example here. You can put the steep slope like that, or you can just build little stairs like that. Or you can put a slope like this but if it's not all the way, you can even move it into the actual ground. And this little arrow can move it like that. Or or you can move it even longer or higher. But on a steep slope, it'll be harder to climb up because it's steep. But if you, if you try the gentle slope, which is right next to steep slope, it'll be more gentle, not so steep. And you can also, when you hold it down, you see these little black uh, black and white arrows. I mean, you see the arrows right here, and you can move it down like this. So any any direction you want like that. See? And you can move it down like that, or like right in the ground. You can probably go all the way if you want, but it, it, it doesn't really matter. And you, you can do anything you want. This is just ex some examples I could do for you. So you could do it like this. Say it like that. And then you can keep on building. Let's say if you put a steep slope right here, which makes it easier to slide. Like so, like that. Oh yes, the flat pole is literally right here. You can also, there's little arrows right here instead of the starting point, you can actually click it and it'll move closer or farther. You can also move it from side to side, up or down. And you're probably wondering, you're probably wondering what this little cart thing is right here. You can click on it. You're probably wondering what the S 
and the G is, and what is the little void there. You can hold down on the G, and it actually moved the chorus a lot further if you would prefer. And at the start, you can click that, and you'll be right at the start. Or if you click G, you'll be right at the goal. And this little mini block, uh, which is extremely helpful for builders, you can hold it down, moving it like right here and here. Instead of going like all the way like this. Well, I mean, you could do that if you would like, but that's just how I do it. Anyway, let's get started off to some coins. Some fun. Anyway, so you could put, so you could do like this. Like, a level's great and all, but it needs to have at least some coins. I mean, you don't have to do coins if you don't want to. But, no. Anyway, so you could put some coins here. So yeah, you can jump like right here. And then you can put some coins like right there. But it could be pretty hard to remember where you want the coins. So you go down to game style, course theme, auto scroll. We'll get that, we'll get to that on another lo uh, video. And yes, let's go right here for the timer first. You can select how long you want your course or level. So if you just did it like 10 seconds, say we like this. We'll have exactly 10 seconds to get there. So let's, let's do the 500 uh, seconds. Anyway, so you can see this little Mario here, Mario's Trail. You can click on it and it'll see your movement. See, like if I did this, it'll exactly do that. So, let's see if you jump like that. And you see these little blocks right here? You can click it right there. But I do suggest that you put it slightly a bit under Mario, because that will be more, uh, it'll be just uh, fancier in a way. Because if you put it like that, it'll be like this. But if you put him under Mario, like this, it'll be more like that. I mean, there's literally different ways you could do coins. You could do them like, you can all, uh, you could fill the coins with these little holes here. So you can make coins like this, or you can make them coins like this, or even like this. Or you can make it like this. A real big one. Like that. And while you're climbing up, you can put little gaps right there, but you can't put it right where this the slope is. See, because there's little blocks, you cannot do that there. But you can put them like this. Like that. And also, you can see on the slope, it has more of a triangle position right here on the on the empty block uh, holes. So you can put the coin there, but you can't put them on the slope because it's red and won't let you. So you can put them like that. You can do like a block, a hollow, a hollow block, uh, and like like this, or you could just have it like that. So you can do it like this, and then you can slide down. You can also do it like this. You can also click it again. Oh yes, also the stuff that you use can also be up here on the top bar right here. So you don't have to keep going to the menu like getting this or that. So you could put the coin like right here. Right. So you could do it like this. You could slide down and jump. And you can also turn off Mario's Trail anytime you want. So it's not a permanent setting. I mean, you can if you want to, but I mean, there's like literally infinite ways to do it. You can even put enemies on the slope as well. And you can also hold down on the enemies and they'll change a different style. Bigger or just normal size. You can also have them with wings. Or you can make him with a little parachute coming down. Watch out, Mario!
like that. Yes, so let's get uh, Koopa Troopa, which is right at the enemy, right here like this. I'm pretty sure you all know this, but you could jump on him and use him as a little shell to get more coins. Like that. You can also put them on, on top of each other like this. Or even like that. You can even make them bigger like that. And it will still somehow hold him, even though he's walking. I don't know why, but <laughs> it, it, it's, it's just interesting. I mean, it's, 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 it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, so you can put them like that. And you can still slide them down when you go down. Like that. And you could do it like this. You can even put multiple enemies right here. It doesn't have to be big if you don't prefer. But you can still do it. You can even put some on top of each other like that. But be careful putting them on slopes or gentle slopes because they'll eventually come at you. Ah! So you could do it like that. But sometimes there might be some left. So if you do it like this. Well, yeah, they, they might get you, though. Also, here, let me get you something interesting right here. Let's take a normal Guma and show you what their other style, uh, another uh, type of enemy. Start like this. As you can see, the normal Guma and Koopa Troopa just fall right off. Right off the ground there, or whatever you build. But, oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. <laughs> Although, if you hold this uh, different style, it'll be a Goomba Brat. No, not a ground again. <laughs> and if you hold this, it'll be a red Koopa Troopa. And as you can see, they walk back and forth. They don't fall right off the ground. So, if you want to make like a little platform or something, for example, like this. Just for example, they go right back and forth. Instead of the green Koopa Troopa, otherwise they'll fall right off. Oh boy, that was a close one. So you could do it like that. And yes, with this different style, you can still make them bigger with wings and a parachute. Anyway, let's get down to some pipes. So, right to ground, steep slope, gentle slope, which we over already covered, these three, are going to do pipe. Anyway, we all know pipe, like, uh, it's Mario. So anyway, you can put him like, like that. Or, yeah, you, you can put him like, you can even put enemies in the pipe. So it'll be like this. Oh. Yeah, there, Guma. Yeah. Anyway, there's different styles as well as this. And what does that arrow on the very right mean? I'll show you that in another video. So anyway... Oh, let me click that. Anyway, so this one has three arrows on it, which is medium. You could put the uh, any enemy in there, like this. And I got a more come out, like that. You can... I don't even need another pipe. No. <laughs> Tell me. Darn. All right. You can also have them different styles, and yes, you can even have them big in there, like this. Although it'll take a little while, since they still go back and forth. See, look, they still go back and forth, like that. Although Yoshi can't gobble them up, although he can get items. Oh boy! And and if you jump on them, two more will spawn out. So be careful. Oh, see? I died because I wasn't careful. And yes, you can also hold them down like this, side to side. They'll do like that in the ground. And they'll you can make them higher. 
are lower. Like it does each section of the little blocks there. And you can do blue, which is the lowest, which is the slowest, like that. See how long it takes? And then you can also do red, which is the fastest, which a lot of enemies will come out. Ugh, such a chore. Ah! Oops. Yeah, so we can build it like this. I mean, you can also, you can all, and if you don't want to put enemies in there, you can also have it just for like nice, cool colors. Like that. And you can even put a little Koopa Trooper in there like this. Or you could put some coins all over here like this. You can even put some coins in there as well. Like that. And also if you have a Koopa Trooper right here and you hit it, it might oh get dangerous. But you can make it a little farther if you would more if you prefer that instead. Like our patterns like this, or it could be red in the middle, red in the outside. I mean, it, it honestly doesn't matter. You could there is just so many possibilities you could do with it. You can even do some pipes and stuff like this. Remember, you can still move them like that. So you can do it like that. And you, you can also put little pillars like uh, where like this, if you want to. I mean, you could put them like like that before if you don't want any gaps at all. Or you could put one little gap here. Two would be good. Three if you're uh, looking for a challenge. But if you're really looking for a challenge, do like eight or whatever. Let's see if we can make this. Whew. All right, and you can even make it more, even more of a challenge like this. Oh, <laughs> like that. All right, so you can use pipes like this, like right here. Like that. You can even put some coins like them right here. And you can put some coins in there. Heck, you can probably even put an enemy or two spawning out of it or on top of it like that. See? Gotta catch them all before they... Oh! Oh boy! Almost fell down there. Like that. And you can also put another ground right here. And then you could probably put another steep slope or gentle slope if you prefer. Like the same thing before. Like that, so you you jump on the pipes, hop on the enemy and slide down, maybe some coins you could put right there. And all sorts of stuff like that. Anyway, you can, I'm going to show you more of the items right here. Super Mushroom, Fire Flower, Propeller Mushroom, Super Acorn, Super Star, 1-Up Mushroom, which gives you an uh, extra life if you uh, die, and Yoshi's Egg, which you already saw that, and Coin, and Tin Coin, which you already did that. Pink Coin, I will show you what you could do more in another video. Also, if you don't want to keep looking around for specific items to put in the blocks, if you uh, per se you can actually hold on to Mario and he can actually have that stuff right here so like the classic Mario right here but he's not immune you can get hurt you can also click that off you mean you don't have to then you can click fire flower or 
click star power, enemies will immediately be defeated by just touching them. Although, warning, it does not last forever. And you can even use a propeller mushroom, which you don't have to run, but you can click ZR or LZ and you can fly up like that. And you can even put some cool coin designs like this. So if you got the propeller mushroom, you can just probably like fly up like that. Or you can even put some coins while you're gliding down like we, uh, like that. And then on, on the acorn mushroom, you have the power of a flying squirrel. You can hold down on the jump button and you glide. You can even hold down and stuff. And then you can click Z R or L uh, L Z, and you could hold on. It's not showing it right here. Right here, like this. You can click it, and you can glide up. Warning, you'll go down. Unless you get on solid enough ground again, then you can do it again. Whoosh! You can't get me, guys. And yes, these other things you could do right here, you can have a little, another enemy on here. You can have a fuzzy beetle shell on your head, uh, spiny, and what else was there? Uh, you can all even have a dry shell turtle, which we'll explain in another video. And if you get down, you can do even do like the dried turtle. I like that. So, I mean, there's just so many ways you could do with it. Like, it's just infinite. Like, there's just so much stuff you can do. <sighs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, this... <laughs> I mean, you don't even have to do that. You could just put like lots of cr bunch of crazy coins like, like that. See, like like even if they do a challenging thing, you could re uh, reward the player or yourself by putting lots of coins here. Oh, and yes, you can even delete the the uh, the, the slope right here like that if you want more like a, a starry terrain. And there's another way you could do it with steep slope as well. Let me show you as soon as I get rid of all these coins. Oh, darn. Yeah, so when you're building, be careful not to push the un undo button every single time because you can have some stuff that you try to get rid of. They'll come back. So you can go right here, the gentle slope. You can click it like this. I'm not saying you can you can you can even build stuff like that and you can go even up like that. Like to who like who knows up here. And then you can do one like that. And you can have some really cool terrain stuff like that. Like that. And you could do the same thing and go the arrow up. Like, like that. You can do a little cool stuff like that. Or you can even put some coins like that right here. You can also do the same thing with the steep slope. But it'll be slightly more sharp and narrow. Like this. Like that. Pretty cool, huh? You can make your own cool floating islands and awesome and stuff like that. Whoa. Yeah, so you can even do it like like this. Try to see if you can get it. I mean if you want, I mean there's like there's just so much stuff you could do with it. Do 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 And we can also go right uh, on the bridge. So if you wanted to make an, like another little thing right here, on that was sloppy. 
So you can put a little bridge. If you're tired of building all sorts of stuff, you can just put like a little bridge here. These also have little things similar to the starting point and at the goal. You can hold down on it and it actually be longer or shorter. Like that. So if you want like, uh, per se like this, and it can be off to the next side like this. Or you could make it something like this. And yes, and if you put it like right there, they'll cut it off like that. The, the terrain, I mean. And with bridges, you can also do something like this. You don't always have to use the bridge as a bridge, you can just make it as another platform like this. Or, you could do it like this. Oh my. And you can put some cool enemy like this. You can put some coins like right here. Like that. So if you're just doing your own thing, you're like, ooh, what's this? Like that. Huh. Got it. Ah, got it. And that's just like infinite possibilities. You can even do one like this. A little bridge like this. So you can come down here and whoop. You could even put a bridge that leads all the way to the top of the flagpole. Get the extra life. I mean, if you want, I mean, this is like you could do really anything with, with if it. Uh, anything you want with it. And yes, sound effects will give that to another thing, but I could just show you one thing. It has a different sidebar. You can click on it. You can have feelings, noises, applause, party popper, baby, cheer, near miss, punch, clatter, drama, jump, honk honk, kick, and a lot more stuff we'll get to later. And almost forgot, you can you see this little robot here? It says save slash load. You can click on it and you can save as or load. So let's click on that. We have not saved it, so you gotta make sure you save it. Every level. Let's see what we call this. Hmm. Let's just call it a test. Like that. Alright, this is our level called test, which is basically just a bunch of tests and stuff like that. So yeah, see all these little things and you can make an enjoyable, awesome Mario level or course or whatever way you prefer it. Ah, no! Oh dear. See all that and all this is just really simple stuff. I mean all this building and stuff like that may seem a bit overwhelming, but it's, it's actually pretty darn easy. Or if you can make a strange challenge if you want to do your level backwards. Uh oh. If you would like that though. There he is. 
Yoshi. So yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff like this. It, it, and also, let me just show you another thing right here. It, right next to Mars Trail is co-op making. You can click on that and you can actually have the Joy-Con re remotes. And you can have it and both of you can build at the same time. Which I can't show right now because it is the end of the video. I know it seems like a cliffhanger, but don't worry. Through these tutorials, we'll continue to build this level and I'll show you how to upload it to Course World, which I'll also explain in the next video. So yes, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do that. And yes, and also in case you have not noticed, this September is the month of 35 years of Mario. I still cannot believe it's been 35 years of Super Mario Brothers. I just grew up, I've grown up playing Super Mario Brothers. It's just so much fun. Like I, I remember, I remember growing. Uh, I remember as a little kid playing Mario levels on the Wii and all that. And then now you have the ability to make your own Mario levels, which is really, honestly, a dream come true. You know, and uh, anyway, not let me get too carried away. Uh, so yes, and also they have uh, for the celebration of Mario's 35th anniversary, they have perfectly remastered uh, back in HD uh, three special 3D games. It's all in one pack. It's called it's uh, Super Mario Brothers 3D All Stars games, in which include. Games which include uh, Mario 64, Super Mario 64, and yes, Super Mario 64 is coming on the Switch to pre-order right now. Uh, you could... Anyway, yes, Super Mario Brothers uh, 3D All-Stars is coming on the Switch to pre-order. It will. Uh, its release date is September the 18th. I do not know the exact time it'll come out, so it can come any possibly any time on the 18th. But uh, the games, uh, it's in, it's in one pack. Three games, which include Su uh, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Sunshine, which is all coming on that. And yes, I'm going to do game play walkthrough on all of them. Yes. Yeah, it that will come on the 18th. So I'm gonna do game walkthroughs in that. So yeah, look look out for that because that's coming right soon. It's just right around the corner. And yes. Uh, all right. See you all in the next one. Goodbye.